So now, uh, the first slide is my collaborators, uh, Zach, Igor, uh, Kyonggen, Hideyuki, and Hangju. So it's a summary of several works, but all of them are considered with uh, uh, local energy solutions. So the, the, uh, uh, there are four parts of my talk. The first part is an introduction to local energy solutions. And the second part is uh, on global existence between L2 and L2 uniform local. And the third part is for global existence beyond L2 uniform local with decay. And the last part will be on the study of regular regions uh, for local energy solutions. So, okay, now introduction. So this, we study Napier Stokes equations. So we do everything in the whole space R3. And the uh, time is from zero to infinity. We have an uh, initial data V0. And uh, we know that uh, uh, it's called Stokes system if we drop this nonlinear term. Uh, we have two properties of Napier Stokes. The first one is the applied bound. Uh, you, we, we test the equation by 2V. Then we get this uh, global energy inequality. And this is the same estimate as the Stokes system. So the linear term drops out because of this anti-symmetry property. And uh, we, we don't have equality because uh, equality is not preserved under weak limits. We only get the uh, inequality after weak limits. And then uh, here's a local version. Uh, is a local energy inequality. So we, 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 we multiply, we test the equation by 2v times the cutoff function, and phi should be non negative, and then we get this uh, localized version. And we still have inequality. And this is very essential uh, is, uh, because this allows us to localize uh, energy estimates, and then we, have, uh, we are able to do regularity criteria. And this was originated by the uh, by Schaeffer, and then uh, uh, perfected by Cavalry, Cohn, and Nuremberg. The second property is the scaling invariance. So we define this uh, risk scale function V lambda by this uh, formula. Then uh, if V is a solution, this guy is also a solution. And then uh, we look at the, the, the change of LQ norm under the scaling. And then LQ norm is only scaling inferior norm. And so related to the scaling property is uh, self-similarity. Uh, uh, a, a, a function is self-similar if uh, it equals to its with scaled version for any uh, lambda. And then its, it's value decided by uh, its value at any time moment. And then we say it is uh, discretely self-similar if uh, V equals V lambda for, a, for one particular choice of lambda bigger than one. And there are three kinds of uh, uh, self-similar and discrete self-similar solutions. Uh, one is backward from mass infinity to zero. So this was proposed by the Ray. And then uh, we have forward self-similar solutions uh, for positive time up to infinity. And then stationary solutions is no time. And natural bounds for the solution is uh, C over one plus X. And then uh, our V solution should be L infinity in time and the uniform bounded in X, and X should be scaling invariant spaces uh, containing this function, like L3, uh, L3 weak, and the Morris space M21, et cetera. So now we feel uh, uh, what is known about existence. Uh, we do everything in R3. The, the first one is the, the Ray's uh, weak solution. So for any V0 in L2, there's a global weak solution. It's based on the energy inequality. The second thing is a strong solution. We have a higher regularity. Uh, and the solution is, is better. And it is also, uh, also used the energy inequality. The third is a mild solution. So this is either in H1 half or in LQ, Q bigger than or equal to three. Then uh, there's a solution in finite time, T. And we take T to be infinity if uh, it's L3 and uh, L3 is small. So LQ has less spatial decay, but has a higher regularity. And we, 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 we treat the linear term as a source term. The structure is not important. It's different from energy inequality. And there are many extensions. 
So uh, we, can, we can consider low range spaces and we have global solutions for small data in the scaling is very long. So uh, th this one is a base of space. This is the EMO minus one, the, the, the core tatalo uh, space. And then another extension is uh, in LQ info local. So LQ info local is defined by this norm. We, we look at LQ norm over uniform and we take a soup over the center. X nice any point on the, on R, in R3. And then a uh, small is, is, is needed for if Q is equal to three. But then uh, we don't have global solution because uh, we don't have any decay in this norm for the heat, uh, for the heat evolution. So uh, we, this thing is all, always local in time. And then there's a Cardinal's global solution. So he consider V0 to be LQ, Q uh, between two and three. So the, his idea is to compose V0 as two parts. Where A0 is small in L3, then B0 is large, and, but it's, it's in L2. So it is localized in a sense. And then the solution V is equal to the sum, where A is the amount solution. Uh, is a small amount solution for this small initial data, and BT is a weak solution, but uh, it's of, of, of the A per term, not this stops. So this idea was uh, essentially used to control local energy solution. So it was uh, pioneered by the Mahi Lucet, the details given by Kikuchi and Serokin. So the results are the following. So first, if V0 is uh, in L2 info local, then there's a, there's a local in time solution. Uh, second, if V0 is in E2, so E2, so EQ is the subspace of LQ info local that uh, the LQ norm finishes as the center goes to infinity. So if V0 has, uh, has this uh, decay, then there's a global in time solution. Uh, that strategy is similar to uh, C catalog. So, uh, so we first, we use uh, this uh, solution to control local solution, and then we choose a good time T1, and then it compose V at T1 to two parts, and A0 will be small. Uh, but it's small in L3 info local. And then B0 will be large, but B0 will be in L2. And then this allows us to, 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 to do finite time extension and we we'll, we'll repeat this process. So this is the, this is, uh, the, the strategy. Uh, so now I give more details about local energy solution. Uh, so there are six conditions. So V has to be L2 local in space time. And then, uh, the initial data is in L2 info local, and sigma means divergence free. So uh, first, we have this bond. So we look at the, the local energy over any parabolic center, center x0, for time between 0 and r squared. And then we'll take a soup over x0. And this thing will be uniformly bounded in x0. So this is the uh, first, the, the applied bound assumption. And second is that, the, there's some pressure term, which is also you have local and they satisfy the equation in distributional sense. And second, a third one is uh, convergence to initial data uh, in any compact set. Uh, number four is the local energy inequality. And number five is that uh, it's the weak continuity against any compact supportive function. Continuity number six is the pressure decomposition. So uh, for any uh, x naught and any radius r, we can find a, a function of time only, and we can decompose the pressure as uh, uh, these uh, this, this terms. So here, there's no space dependence, and this part is basically a local part. So this is computed over a ball, center x naught. This one is the far field part, it's outside the ball. But then uh, when we do this computation, we have to subtract uh, the k at x naught minus y. And here, uh, the, the whole thing, this equality makes sense in, in L3 half in this parabolic center. And this k here is the, uh, the kernel, it's a, it's, a, it's a gradient squared of the fundamental solution. And so here are a few comments. So uh, the class of local energy solutions is useful 
because uh, uh, it's, it, it contains both L2 and L3 weak. So it can, it's, it's a space where both uh, weak solutions and the mass solutions deep. And second is that the local energy inequality is, 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 is valid and it allows us to do local analysis. And third, we have applied bound. So it's the number one here. And right hand side depends on a, a, a number depending on the initial data. Uh, in that case, we had to have a, uh, put a lambda here, uh, put a lambda here, and lambda uh, has uh, some limits. So it's not all time, but uh, we have some, some applied control. And then the project composition is useful because uh, when we do this uh, L2 info local theory, uh, we either has no decay or it has a no decay rate. So uh, we want to be able to define this in a, in a meaningful way, we need to do this. So this is introduction. Uh, and now a second part, the global existence between L2 and L2 info local. The goal is to, con uh, to construct global solutions in the space between E2 and L2 with some explicit decay. Uh, the motivation is that uh, E2 is too large. Uh, we want a smaller solution class, uh, which is uh, large enough to contain a uh, forward self similar solution. And the second solution is that the smaller class only in smaller class, we may have eventual regularity. So regularity means that solutions, which is regular after a certain time. Uh, I will say more about this in part, part four, uh, but uh, this is the idea. Solution is regular after a certain time. And so uh, the non-global result. So first one is the, the cardinal result. In L Q, Q between, or this should be Q, Q between two and three. And the second result is uh, by circling and spread. So it's not do everything in L3, but this is large data, it's not small data. And the idea is to decompose the solution as the, uh, this is the profile and the plus the tail, and tail will be in the energy class. And the third one is Barker circling spread. Uh, we do L3 infinity. So this is important because uh, this, this space contains uh, self similar solutions. Uh, the, uh, for, the first result is by uh, Britain and Barker. They do this in the uh, basal space. And so uh, I want to talk about the, the winner uh, amalgam spaces, E to Q. The norm is defined by this. So we, we compute L2 norm over a unit ball at set K, and K is the lattice point. And, we, we, and then we compute little LQ norm over or that is point K. This is the definition of this E2Q norm. The, the motivation of this is uh, to decouple the local regularity and the global decay of a function. So we're going to do E2Q, we can talk about EPQ, but for us, uh, one locally one L2 because that's enough for our local energy inequality. And then E2Q cube should be bigger than uh, two, but less than six, uh, less than infinity. So we have uh, some decay, but not, uh, we want to have some decay, but not, uh, uh, not as uh, weak as L2. So here are a few theories by, by, by Zach and me. So V0 is in E2Q. So first we, ex we establish global existence for all Q between two and infinity. And second, we, we, we prove a prior estimate. So here, this is a, a local energy I set RK and the, the, the scale is R. And then there's a time TR. So this is the local energy I set K. And then we do this uh, LQ over two uh, because I did text grade with here. So this is LQ over two. And this thing is bounded by the initial size in E2Q, but this is at scale one. So this is at scale R. And this is, this is an R factor here. And this time TR goes to infinity if Q is between two and six, six is not included. So this uh, gives us a certain way to construct global solutions. Uh, I will say more about this in part three, but the, so, so the, the, the part one here use the, the strategy of the Mahi Lucet is by repeated uh, finite time extension. 
And this one will be by a sequence of applied bounds. The third result, eventual regularity is Q is between two and the three. We don't include three. Uh, we, don't, we do include three, but we don't include L3 weak. So, uh, so this is related to the, 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 the conjecture of uh, a singular discretely self-similar solution. If we have a singular discretely self-similar solution, then solution will not have eventual regularity and it will not have uh, initial regularity either. Uh, but then it is at the borderline of these three here. So this gives us a family of uh, 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 solution spaces uh, between uh, L2 and uh, L2 involved local. Uh, do you have any questions so far? Okay, I don't so think at the moment. So the, the preprints the pre were uploaded three weeks ago. So this is pretty new, but uh, So uh, I, I think we are going to have some follow up, but uh, we don't quite know at this moment. Okay, now uh, part three. There's a global existence beyond L2 in local with decay. So we first recall uh, what is wrong. So if V0 is in L2 info local, then we have local in time existence. Uh, if V0 is uh, in E2, so it has some uh, decay, uh, phase, phase, phase law, but uh, some decay, then uh, we have global in time existence. And the open question is like, do we have global existence for V0, which is in L2 info local, but not in E2, so V0 has no decay. And there are many natural solutions, they don't have spatial decay. Uh, so first we have constant flows. And then we may have uh, time, period, time dependent, spatially periodic flows. And then we have a two and a half dimensional flows. So we first look at the two dimensional flows in R2 and then we add a third component and to match the equation. And, then, and the four is that we can also consider the perturbations of these, uh, these, these things. So this solution, we already know they exist, but then what happens if we do perturbation? Uh, presumably we still have a solution, but uh, at this moment, we don't have a theory for this. So this is the motivation. So we want to, want to find a theory which uh, have at least give us perturbation of this. So, uh, but okay, this, this is a, this is a, this is the main thing in this uh, part. And there are many uh, partial results so far. Uh, but I, I want to first mention two approaches, so which I mentioned earlier. The first one is to, uh, to decompose the flow as a profile plus a tail. And the, where the tail should be, uh, should have some decay. So either it is in some localized place like L infinity LQ, so this was uh, considered in part two, for example, QL3 or L3 weak. And the second is, is that uh, uh, this tail is not in LQ, but maybe it's in, in E2. So, and uh, instead of this, this vector field, we, we can consider some other quantities, maybe not E2 itself, but these quantities has some arbitrarily slow decay. But then this will still allow us to, to construct solutions local in time. And then we can, we can then do this uh, repeated finite time extension. So this is the first strategy. And the third strategy is to find a sequence of finite time applied bounds for t less than tk. And uh, such that tk goes to infinity as k goes to infinity. And then we can do, we can touch on trust solutions in, in one uh, weak limit. We don't need to do this repeatedly. We just do this in one weak limit. We, we do solutions in finite space time, but then the space time is, is uh, enlarging, it's uh, occupying the entire space time. So, so, so far, these are two approaches. 
So uh, the first result is in, in this uh, category, okay, global results for lung decaying data is by the Mahi Lucet. So she considers V0 in M21. So this is by a sequence of prior bounds because V0, this is more space. And then, uh, uh, and then you have, uh, you already have uh, a prior bounds in L2 even local for this V0. But then you visit in M21, you can look at its rescale version. But the, for, re, for the rescale version, we also have a prior bounce. And then we can, we can rescale loss a prior bounce back to V0. And then the TK will converge to infinity. So this is the first re such result. Moody space. And second result is more recent. By Marimonti and Simitsu. So the result is that the, the, the condition is that V0 should be in L infinity and gradient V0 should be in L Q the whole space and Q is between three and infinity. And the, the strategy is uh, uh, to decompose V as a, as, a, as a sum. This sum is a profile plus tail, which is W. And uh, this BK, this, this is a sequence, this, this is a sum in here. BK plus one should solve uh, BK per term non-field equations with the first term BK dark gradient BK. And this, this, this goes thing here, this first term here should have beta and beta decay uh, when K increases. Uh, in the end, W will be in the energy class. So, so BK is getting beta and beta in terms of decay. And the, the third result is by Hangzhou and me uh, last year. So our condition is that V0 should be in E2 sigma plus L3 inform local. So, so this part here has no decay, but we require enough regularity. So it's uh, at least L3. So L3 info local. And then this guy plus uh, a decaying part in E2 sigma. And this part is okay, and this is a new part. And then we require oscillation decay. So, so we look at the, uh, this, this integral here over ball one x naught and V zero minus its average in this ball. So th this, 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 thing, this integral here measures the oscillation of V zero in this ball. And then uh, when, the, when the center goes to infinity, this oscillation uh, uh, goes to zero. Uh, so in this case, V0 uh, does not need to be, does not need to have finite limit at the spatial infinity. So V0 can, can have uh, many weird behavior at the spatial infinity. Uh, but the only thing we require is this uh, oscillation decay. And this is useful because uh, this oscillation decay implies that the gradient of the solution of heat equation with this intro data a special decay. And uh, that's because uh, uh, of smoothing effect of uh, the heat evolution. And then this uh, oscillation decay becomes uh, the, the, the gradient uh, decay. So this is the first uh, condition. And the second, the second thing is that if V0 is a perturbation of a global solution, so V is a, it's a, it's a global solution in L infinity, LQ, uniform local, Q big and three. So V has to be a solution of Napier stocks and not uh, of stocks. It's a solution of Napier stocks. And then we'll do a perturbation in E2. So this guy has a uh, special decay. And then we have we'll then we have global solution. So this is a perturbation. So this uh, answers the question uh, number four here. Perturbation of global solutions, we, we have global existence. Uh, so two, two and three, no, I'm, I'm, I see, uh, not really. Uh, so this is used uh, repeated uh, in the final ex extension. Uh, number four is uh, more recent uh, by Zach and me. So V0 is in L2 inform local, but then this integral here over power x naught divided by one over r squared should finish at a special infinity. <coughs> So, uh, so this is two, this is now one. 
So this uh, this makes this finishing easier, uh, right? Because we have a, a, a bigger denominator, so it's easier to finish. And then if then if we have this, uh, then we can have a sequence of applied bounds. And uh, the fifth result is by Fernandez, Dago, and Lamahi Lucet. So in this result, the condition is that B0, uh, this weighted integral of B0 should be finite. And it's, it's important to note that this condition does not require B0 to be L2 uniform local. So this something be, be done L2 uniform local. And this uh, theory gives a, a new construction of uh, these critical self similar solutions for data in L2 local. And we have to compare these two conditions. Uh, they don't imply each other. So these two results are disjoint. And uh, this is uh, uh, the most recent result. So it's accepted, but not published yet by, by Zach and Igor and myself. So we now look at the, the, set, the, the in integral, but now the integral, this is similar to this, inter this uh, integral here, but the center is zero. We are not, we are not taking text soup of x naught here. We are just doing this, this, this thing at the zero. And if this thing is, is, uh, has, is finishing, then we have a global solution. And the idea of all this, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the idea of four and the six is by a sequence of applied energy bounds. Over, uh, and for this particular one, it will be over dyadic cubes. I will say that more in later. Uh, but this result contains both four and five. So, so far, this is, uh, uh, so far is the best result. So, uh, uh, so now I want to explain what we have here. So this condition, we look at the uh, dyadic cubes. So here, uh, my S1 is the set of dyadic cubes of, uh, Sn is set of dyadic cube of side 2n. So this, uh, this ring of cubes is uh, S1. And this ring of cubes is S2. So this is a 2D picture, but you have, uh, you, you, can, you, can do, you can look at single this 3D picture similarly. And uh, uh, this ring of uh, cubes are the S3. And then we have uh, the middle guy here. And so, and this entire thing is my C0. So Cn is a union of all Sn for k bigger than or equal to n, and including the middle guy. And then this is basically uh, a rescaled version of C0. So this is my family of cubes. So you can see that this is a decreasing family of cubes. Uh, it, uh, not counting this guy. Don't, don't count this guy, then this part is decreasing family. So, so basically we're just uh, gluing the inner guys together at each step. And then uh, we'll look at uh, this norm, V0, M22, Cn. So this n dependence here. This norm uh, is, uh, if, if, uh, is the soup of all cubes in this uh, Cn family. And then uh, this integral here. So this is a Mori-like, Mori-type integral. And these two here correspond to these two here. And these two here correspond to these two here. So we can define similar uh, things for other exponents here. But for us, two, two is, uh, is correct. Uh, and it, we, can, we, can, we can show that the limit of this norm here as n goes to infinity. So we are looking at decreasing family of cubes. This limit is zero, if only if our condition here is zero. And then uh, for this all for these families of cubes, we have this applied uh, bound. So this is energy bound. And we are doing this. Uh, so we do, uh, so this part is uh, this, uh, uh, this L2 norm over these cubes in Cn. And but we, we are taking this and then we do the soup over every, every time S up to time Tn. And then the same part is the, is the Radian part, we compute this integral over Q up to time Tn, and we have a correct thing here. 
the, uh, the power of the size, and then uh, the Q offered in this family. And this thing is bounded by the initial size. So this is a, this is a energy bound, but the, the place of, there is, this is the, the scale of the cubes here depends on distance, the distance of the center to the, to the origin. So this is not a uniform space estimate. This is, this is center in this thing here. And then uh, the TN here can compute in this way. And, and then this guy is going to zero by assumption. And so the entire thing is going to infinity. So I, I think this apply bound is quite interesting. So do you have any question? There is nothing in chat, but if anybody has a question, you can unmute yourself. Oh, okay. So comments. So the global existence problem for general data in Erosion Union Bottle is still, op uh, is still open. But then a uh, self-similar solution may live outside of L2 Union Local. So we have several previous results by, by Don Ho, Chair and the world, by, by, by Zhang and myself, and uh, by FD and LR. And then the third comment is that local energy solutions uh, are also contracted in the half space by Maikawa, Mira, and Plunge. And then uh, related to this uh, question here, we want to look at the equivalence of the local energy solutions and the mild solutions for, for V0 in this, in this space uh, without decay. And this is quite delicate. So that can meet prove this under some regularity conditions. And the difficulty to analyze uh, the pressure decomposition in the distributional sense. So that, that's the comment for this part. And the, uh, and the final part is uh, regular regions. So we're also doing this for the local energy solutions. So, uh, so first, uh, what is that? The study of regular regions is to identify the regions that any solution of a given initial data uh, must be regular. So this regular region depends on initial data and the solution class, but uh, does not depend on the choice of the solution. So in, in principle, the solutions may not be unique. So we're saying that the solution, all solutions for the same data should be regular in these regions. So there are many examples. The first one is the, in the, is the eventual regularity in, in the rest of regional paper. So there's a time t depending on initial data, such that any the real hope weak solution uh, with this data must be regular for t bigger than t, capital T. And the second result is uh, uh, in the theorem D of the Calavert cole Nuremberg. So the most famous result of the paper of Calavert cole Nuremberg is their theorem B, that one dimensional parabolic household major of a singular set is zero. But, uh, but we have also a series C and D here. Series C says that its existence is not any solution. So there's a suitable, suitable means satisfying local energy inequality. There's a suitable, the real whole big solution, uh, which is regular above this surface. So here is this, uh, I made this ugly picture, but uh, it's, it's, it's basically this thing, it's, it's a, the, the set, is a ABC but, but, uh, before, uh, above this uh, surface. If V0 is this weighted norm is finite. So th this is X. On the other hand, if we put X in a denominator, we have, we have a solution in, in above this uh, para, paraboloid. And then this, uh, uh, this is under assumption that this is, this, 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 this is small. And then also this is a distance. And uh, the fourth uh, result is a far figure regularity. He says that there's a radius R such that any suitable solution is regular if X is bigger than R. Uh, I actually put absolute value here. And this is for any T. So uh, I think uh, this is also true for local energy solutions, but then uh, uh, but then uh, this R will have to depend on capital T, and this T has to be less than capital T. 
So we have such results. So, so you can see that like, radio regions is 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 not something new, but it's a uh, 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 but there's only one extension of this theory in D. So I forgot to include the difference. And so now uh, I want to mention the result we have. So first one is uh, work with uh, Zach. So we have a small uh, parameter epsilon one. So if V is a local energy solution, and then if this uh, soup here is less than epsilon one, so now this what is this soup? We look at this scale the L two norm. So this is scale invariant. We, we can look at this uh, scale norm over radius r, and we take soup of x naught. But then if r, we look at only a large radius. So if this thing for some uh, for R large enough is less than epsilon one, then V is regular for T bigger than R one square. So this is the eventual regularity result. On the other hand, suppose our condition is that this is true for R less than R zero. This is only for small scales. If this thing here is, is small for small scales, then V is regular for T less than R zero squared. So this is the initial regularity. And the following is the localized version. Uh, so this extends CKN theory C and D. So, so now we assume V0 is in L2 info local, and then we have this weight here, X to the power of alpha, this is finite. And there are several cases. The first case, uh, alpha is minus one. And then uh, V is regular in this region here. This, 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 this upper bound here, because uh, uh, we are doing this for local energy solutions. It's not uh, the very whole weak solution. It's, it's, we have very weak control. And, and, but then we don't require, we don't require simonies. And we, we, this is any solution. It's not existence, it's any solution. And the second condition is uh, for alpha between minus one and zero. So that we, uh, it's negative, but, uh, but not up minus one. And we also need to have some minor decay at large scales. So, then V is regular uh, for T uh, bigger than uh, something like this. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's similar to, uh, I didn't draw the picture, it's, 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 it's a bulb, something which is like a par paraboloid, but then it, doesn't, it does not touch the origin. So this thing is a spatial because it touches the origin, but this thing does not touch the origin. And uh, number three is that if alpha is bigger than zero, then it's, a, it's, a, it's regular above this uh, singular surface. So this, this extends the uh, sequence theory, see? Again, this is for any solution. And then this is for local energy solutions. And then uh, the previous theory is based on the regularity criterion here. Uh, uh, so this, this, this regularity criterion uh, extends these results. I will mention this later. But here's a statement. So here we assume that some usual energy bounds of velocity and the pressure is finite. And this is a key assumption. Look at this scale norm, centered at zero for R between zero and one. I want this thing to be small. So if N zero is small, so this is a center at origin, then there's a time T such that B is bounded in this region. So it's in this straight region. So the lower bound is a parabolic. The upper bound is a finite time, T. And then this is regular. Is it, the solution is regular inside here. So again, it's important that this, this, this region touches the, the, the origin. And we suppose, so this similar theory was done earlier, but this, this data, this condition is, is different. So it was first done in V3 in L3 plus in, uh, in 4.2 by G and Spirit, and extended by ourselves in L3, and by Barker and Plunge in L3 week. Uh, I think I need smallness here. I think they also need smallness here. So this is, this, can, this include all the previous results. And then uh, I, this is pretty, uh, okay, this, 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 this is new. And uh, we're still trying to understand this thing here. But uh, it's a uh, this is localized version. And another 
consequence of this theory is the, the study of the singular time. So assume we have a singular solution. A singular solution and the T is the singular time, the first singular time. And then, uh, and the first result is that uh, we have this thing here, this scale norm, this scale norm over a ball of radius proportional to T by T and then divided by this. And take soup of x now. We had to bigger than a small constant for all time, uh, slightly less than the singular time. This is about a low bound of four hour break. And the, this thing here is the localized version. So we had to look at a singular point, suppose the singularity at the, the origin. And we assume that the singularity is type one in this sense. Then uh, we can. This thing here, we can do this at center at the origin. We don't need to take soup. We just do this at the, the origin. Uh, and, and then this thing had to be funded from below. So this is the early result of B Ozawa one and Parker Plunge. And uh, that's the end of my talk. Thank you very much.